Alright, this one's going to be for uh, new users on installing Cinnamon themes. Alright, so let's click on their menu here. They should have an icon called Cinnamon Settings. If you don't have this icon, you search for uh, Cinnamon on this little search bar here. Alright, and you know, it's open in here. Uh, so here's the themes. Cinnamon actually have their own themes and I like how they have this little button to open, you know, a link to their website. Because before in GNOME, or even GNOME 2, um, they don't have any way to, like, say, oh, yeah, this is where you're supposed to go to get, uh, you know, themes. So it's nice that they have it. And it's actually their official page uh, on their server. So that's good. Uh, but anyways, this is uh, the themes that they currently have. They don't really have a lot, but, you know, it's more than uh, the usual, right? But basically, you choose one. Let's say we choose one up top here. This Boldar and Loki here. All right, you looked at it, and um, well, they tell you how to install it here, but it depends on what system you're on. If you're on like a what is that Linux Mint or Ubuntu, then then you you can do it this way. I personally don't like doing themes this way because um, you're gonna you know add a lot of these, and I really hate that. If you want to do the manual way, they show you how to do it here. But, you know, if you're new, you probably don't know what the fuck all this means. So, basically, if you want to use it for one user only, so you only have, like, one account on your system, and you want to, you want the themes just for your account, then you put in your themes folder. Uh, if you have, like, multiple users, and you want the themes to show up on all of them, uh, you can do, you know, put it in here, right? And you'll need, you know, the the password for it. So if you're not, like, the, the admin of your system, then you probably cannot do this. So we're going to do it uh, locally, right? Um, so all you got to do is go and download it. There's a little download button here. And, yeah, we're going to save it, right? Save this sucker. And there you go. We saved it. Um, if you want to know exactly where it's at, it's actually in your uh, download folder here. And you can actually just, you know, let me see here, extract here or something like that. And you have this folder. Sometimes they have like two themes or whatever, so just make sure that you get the right folder. So always make sure that the second folder, it says cinnamon. Uh, so you don't want to put this whole folder in there, okay? Because uh, this one contains two of them. And like in this one, it contains only one cinnamon. And this one, you know, one cinnamon here. So that's what you want. Uh, but basically, all you gotta do is open up uh, a new tab or something here. Let me see here. Open a new tab, and then go to well, hit Control H to show all hidden files, and then you go down to dot themes here. All right? If you don't have this folder dot themes, you can always you know create a new one, like create a new folder, and name it exactly like that dot themes, and then go inside it here. And basically, all you do is drag and drop the two folders or whatever themes you have into the themes folder here, right? And now we have these, what's that, Boldar and Loki. And then uh, you can actually access that in your, um, what's that, your mint team here. You have, to, might, you have to go back so you can refresh it and then go back in again. And now you have the two themes here, right? And you can choose between them. Like this one, now it turns like the panel a little bit uh, grayish. And the menu is a little bit different, right? How about this Loki one here? This one's kind of uh, darker gray. And there's, you know, your menu here and some other stuff in your calendar and stuff like that. So basically that's how you would add themes, um, you know, manually. Uh, as far as the command stuff, um, that's only applies if you're on Linux Mint and, and uh, Ubuntu, then you can uh, install it that way. Anyways, pretty good uh, thing that they have their own themes on their own site. That'd be it for this one.